Hey, what is up? It's your boy John Paul Panto from Power Speaker Now, and today we're gonna talk about Man's Search for Meaning by Victor E. Franklin, which has sold more than 12 million copies worldwide. Okay, first of all, who is Victor Franklin? Victor Franklin. Nearly, uh, he's very famous for this book of Man's Search for Meaning because he is one of the advocates of the thought leader of you won't have a good life or you won't find a way to live more if you don't have hope. He, uh, he, was, he spent some time in the uh, Nazi camp, extermination camp and he saw people dying and he was one of them. He saw uh, that those who had the hope of living through this agony of being in the extermination camp were the ones who lived more. In the sense that those who didn't find the meaning or purpose, those were the first one who perish. Like in the Bible, without a vision, people perish they disappear he was born in 1905 and he died in 1997 at the age of three at the age of three he decided to become a physician and in his autobiographical autobiographical reflections he recalls that as a youth he would think for some minutes around about of about the meaning of life particularly about the meaning of the coming day and its meaning for him at the age of 16, Franklin attended at an adult education workshop on philosophy. The instructor recognized Franklin's precocious intellect, invited him to give a lecture on the meaning of life. Franklin told the audience, It is we ourselves who must answer the questions that life asks us. And to these questions, we can respond only by giving responsible for our existence. This belief became the cornerstone of Franklin's personal life and professional identity. He joked that in contrast to Freud's and Adler's depth psychology, which emphasizes delving into an individual's past and his or her unconscious instincts and desires, he practiced height psychology, which focuses on a person's future and his or her conscious decision and actions. His approach to psychotherapy stressed the importance of helping people to reach new heights of personal meaning through self-transcendence, the application of positive effort, technique, and acceptance of limitations, and wise decisions. His goal was to provoke people into realizing that they could, should, they could and should exercise their capacity of choice to achieve their own goals. Writing about tragic optimism he cautioned us that the world is in a bad state but everything will become still worse unless each of us does his best so that's a little uh, that's a brief introduction to Victor Franklin he basically in a gist or in a summary he's the one who invented the psychology of uh, height height psychology which means that a person must focus more on his future rather than his past and if a person doesn't have a purpose then he ceases to live first of all I'm gonna give you my takeaways about his book man's search for meaning and that is humans are self-determining meaning is your responsibility to actualize in the sense that we cannot be our full potential if we don't determine or self-determine who we are and the meaning and our meaning is our responsibility to actualize it. it means if we decide that we want to become an artist or we want to make a we want to become an actor or we live for a certain meaning for our family for our loved ones this is a way of self-determining who we are and without this we perish in the words of Victor Franklin. Next one uh, takeaway that I had is 
No matter the circumstance, you always have the last of the human freedoms, which is to choose your attitude. Victor Franklin stressed the fact that we cannot change our circumstances. As he was in the extermination camp, he couldn't change that for a whole long years because there were prisoners of war, POWs. So instead of this, he realized that one of the human freedoms that humans possess is the, cho this, the choice of attitude. It means we cannot control everything that comes to us or everything that happens to us, but in his words, we can control our attitude towards it. This means that anything that happens to you, Victor Franklin stresses the fact that you can control your attitude towards it. So just because a negative thing happened to you, that doesn't mean you should feel negative. It is within your control, your locus point of control to choose your attitude towards it. My next uh, point uh, takeaway was happiness cannot be pursued. It must be, it must ensue as a side effect of a reason to be happy. In this statement, Victor Franklin is telling us that happiness cannot be pursued it isn't a finish line it comes from the Greek saying that happiness is in the journey not in the destination in the sense that happiness is just a side effect of of a reason to be happy uh, and you can in his words you can be happy if you try to pursue something but you cannot pursue the side effect which is happiness in order to be happy you must be trying to reach a certain goal or living within a certain values of yours so that's a very cool concept because most of us try to chase happiness or the vague the vague reason of happiness but is it is just a side effect as the as victor franklin is saying next takeaway is life never ceases to have meaning even suffering ceases to be suffering at the moment it finds meaning suffering alone might be a very negative thing to handle which why victor franklin stresses out that we must find meaning on each and each negative and also positive thing that happens to us because without the meaning if we just let the circumstance unwrap itself to us, we will continue to suffer. In order to end the suffering, to make it cease, we must find meaning to it. As he states in the book, uh, most of his comrades that were POWs, prisoners of war during the, during the Nazi time, during World War II, most of his comrades died because they cease to find meaning on their suffering those who survived were those who created the saying that never again never again those were the those were the words of the ones who survived the extermination camp the jews that said their suffering had a meaning in the sense that their suffering is teaching them that they should not make this happen again so that's why so that's why it's very important to find meaning in your suffering because without the meaning your suffering is just suffering and you cannot have this vision in front of you or you can't really endure the suffering right now either it's your reaching your goal or you're in a very bad place if you don't find meaning in the suffering then you will just suffer or you will try to just not live life and end it right there so what is the conclusion the conclusion is if you don't find meaning in your life you will not feel and live for a long time that's what that is what is my conclusion about the book so that's why it's very important to find meaning or at least try to find it if you don't know the meaning, just keep on trying to find it. That's all. That was my brief summary of the 
Man's Search for Meaning of Victor E. Franklin and comment down below what what do you think your life's meaning is what is your purpose comment down below if you like the video hit the like button if you want to leave if, if you like to have more of these book summaries just comment down below what next book would you find very useful if i did a summary on and as a free gift for watching the whole video you can download down below there's a free link so where you can download this these slides that I just showed you in PDF form so you can review it and cement it uh, inside your brain so you can review it and when you lose the meaning when you are suffering you can just read this PDF so you can really endure the suffering and find meaning in your suffering so thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video